I was going to ask where you kind of sit, what's your views with past life, what were some of your experiences that you've had with, with, your, with what you believe to be your own personal past life. Before you enjoy the video, if you want to go deeper with me, make sure you check out my meditation masterclass. It is unlike anything. It's pinned in the comments below. There's a couple, there was a couple of things going on there. One, I wanted to hone my skills and ability. So uh, for me, you know, this is way back, this is 30 years ago now at this yeah. point, right? So uh, I wanted to get better at my ability to, to do these things, to access these things. And one of the first things I started doing was giving past life readings mm -hmm. to people. Once more of these abilities and talents came online, I stopped because I realized they were making more identifications. They were creating more attachments. So I'm like, well, my goal is liberation. And so if I'm telling people about their past lives and they're identifying with that, uh, I'm actually not helping them. So I'm just, I'm just gonna stop. So now the exploration, excuse me, that when we talk personally about me exploring, one, it was to sharpen my skills. And and two, you know, as a kid, I just I just had this feeling about myself mm. um and i even used to say i even used to say names over and over again as a mantra i used to and, and i don't remember believe it or not i don't remember if i put it in the book i used to say francis bacon over and over and over again yeah. francis bacon francis bacon francis bacon and then i used to say plato 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 and i was like what the hell are you saying that though i'm like i don't know and now i realize i was trying to wake myself up i was literally so for me personally yeah for me to continue my work uh, as best I can, I think I required uh, some kind of confirmation and validation because I feel very different and my understandings are very different and I have you know strange things I can do. It's like I, my feeling is that I'm that. So I need to understand, I mean, do I feel this way for a reason? Is it just my imagination? So I wanted confirmation for myself and that confirmation kind of freed me up to him to continue my uh, work as RJ. So it's really those two things. I always had that feeling. I wanted to confirm or make sure that, no, that's not true. So I wanted that confirmation. And at the same time, I just wanted to keep getting better and better and better so I could serve better and better and better. So that that had a lot to do with the exploration of, of past lives. Is uh, Even though you're, you're, you're helping people go as deep as they, can uh, at, at whatever level they're starting from do do things like past lives do that do you see them as just you know, getting in the way do you still just kind of put them to one side when people ask you about them the only thing i would say is that if we are if our evolution seemingly if seemingly we're stuck and we need something it's like training wheels right? Mm. Do we always want to drive around? Well, no, but are they helpful? They sure are. They're absolutely, mm. I had training. I mean, they're helpful, mm. right? Okay. So I think I kind of view it as that way. I've worked with a lot, thousands and thousands and thousands of people. And every now and then, if I can, if I pick up that some of their sticking point has to do with a past life thing that they have not let go, I will bring it up. I'll say, Hey, just so you know, blah, 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 blah. This is where this comes from. And you see the relief and the release. So it can be helpful, but to start to focus, if it becomes mm -hmm. the, the focus, then you're not really being who you are right now. Right. Mm -hmm. And this is a this is a trap. And Rich and I used to we used to talk about that. I said we can't focus on your past lives, Rich, and my past lives. What we have to focus on is right now who we are right now. We can draw upon the freedom of knowing. That yes, this is what we do when we're here. We're able to do these things. We are teachers mm -hmm. of humanity, et cetera, et cetera. But if that becomes the focus, you're going to miss everything, the the all-encompassing mm -hmm. beauty of right now. So it's helpful. They're they're training wheels. It's maybe the best way to look at it. <laughs> that's, that's that's fine. Training wheels is good. Makes complete sense. Just a quick one. Do you think you'll be back again? Without question. Yeah, without question. It's so I mean, I've already deeply experienced from a linear perspective because it's all happening now yeah which is, i know the mind's like what but it is yeah. Yeah. so i have deeply explored my next uh from a linear perspective what would be my next incarnation and yeah i will i will be back and it's uh i'll even give some of it away so it's it's around 
It's around 2154. I am at that point, I am around 30 years old and I'm living in the place that we used to know as Chicago. And I won't go any, I won't go any further. <laughs> That's a really interesting point of view <laughs> from, a, from a human perspective, <laughs> linear perspective. That's really interesting. I've, I've never thought about looking at that. Never thought about that. Yeah, because because Tim, we can't. Let me, you know, just to. Yeah. It has to already be there for us to tap into. Yes. So that so that means it, it's it's already occurring. And if we went further, we would actually realize the whole thing has already occurred. Uh, absolutely. Okay. So so yeah, absolutely. Mind blown. But uh, so uh, does that not also bring in an aspect? I think it might well be in your book. I haven't gone that far into it, but I saw something about puppeteer. Does that mean, was that referencing to free will or the perception of free will? Because if everything's already happened, where does that put free will? Oh, I just did a, I just did a book signing a couple of days ago. And the first question someone asked, like, RJ, I got to talk to you about free, free will. Like, okay. So this is a, similar to the answer I, I gave this gentleman. Okay. So if we really, if we really dove deeply, and, and I have, if we really dove deeply, we would realize that this first moment of creation occurs. And, and, and it really has to do with beings becoming aware of themselves and they begin creating. It's really what that is. Okay. After that moment, everything is already set into motion. There actually is no free will after that. Okay. Because mm -hmm. it's, it's already, it's now everything is a chain reaction. So it's not really... And I'll add to that. So it's not really free will. Now, from a human perspective, okay, so remember, we're a projection of our higher self, right? Yeah. So we, we are a piece of our higher self. Our higher self, this is the higher self evolving itself. We're like the drone or the tentacle of the octopus that's yeah. doing the learning on the behalf because the higher self can't come all the way down here. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so if we if we start to realize that the past, present, and future have all occurred. And what we're doing is moving our, I'll use a book. Let's go to analogy. It's better, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. we got a book, right? We open it up, page 77, right? Okay. And I look at the first sentence, right? Okay. In this moment, we don't know anything about the preceding 77 pages, and we don't know anything about the next 100 pages, right? Okay. Now, we only know and can only experience where our attention is right now. And it's on the first sentence of page 77. But yet, the book is already written. Mm. It's already complete. Mm. Now, for us to understand ourselves as the limitless immortal creator, we have to understand all the minutia, all the tiny bits and pieces of the first part of the book, this part of the book, and the end part of the book. And the only way to do that is to put your attention on every single word of every single sentence. Otherwise, you don't get the full impact of the book. But the book's already written. So we are moving our attention, which is energy. We are moving our mm -hmm. attention throughout the whole thing. And the more that we move our attention through this whole thing, the more that we get out of the experience. But make no mistake about it. All of it has already occurred. Humanity is a raging success. The free will experiment is a raging success. We only just have our attention on one sentence in one paragraph on one page of an enormous book that has already been written. I hope you enjoyed the video. Now, if you are desirous of more, more of the real you and less of your conditioned, agitated mind, if you know that you can create a life that you're not leading right now, but you know you can, check out my meditation masterclass. It's pinned in the comments below.